Yes, good evening, guys, to all of you. I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's Exam Prep. So, guys, you know this is the first session of the prediction series. Please tell me, am I properly audible and visible to all of you or not? So, guys, in this session, we are going to see ten questions. Okay, and those ten questions would be from entire production. They are some very good questions. Okay, and they will give you the feel. as they are a very good quality question definitely will give you the feel of the exam also yes hey man good evening so moving further guys without wasting your time this is some detail about me i am having around 10 plus years of experience and guys uh, this subject is production okay uh great great hey man and you will get the pdf of this session as well as the morning session Uh, after this session, I will be giving the PDF of this session as well as morning session uh, on this Telegram channel. Uh, the name is Mechanical by Dheera Sardana. So you will be getting the PDF of the session, all exam notification, head it or not, PYQ, doubt resolution, everything. Yes, uh, Shreya Patel, good evening, dear. How are you? Moving further, guys. So this is the prediction session, prediction series going on. This is the first session of prediction series, and guys, uh, we will be having regularly. every day one session related to one subject would be there we are starting with production likewise we will be having tomorrow theory of machines next day we will be having strength of material so one day one subject we are covering in this series okay similarly one more series is coming is that is f1 series like you have seen in the marathon we have done complete subjects now we will be going only with the formulas if within one hour we will be revising the entire formulas of that subject so i feel this is the uh, need of the hour for that time okay so this series will also be coming live from tonight at tonight at 10:30 so tonight at 10:30 pm we are going to meet for theory of machines formula 1 session okay so i hope everybody uh, would be waiting for this now this is the first question in front of you guys so just try to solve this first question and the first question is saying that it is from shaper for a shaper cutting speed of 20 meter per minute so you are given the cutting speed as 20 meter per minute this is given to you and lambda value is also mentioned as 0.75 you know that it is given as velocity of cutting to the velocity of return from here you can also find out the return velocity then if over travel is 4 mm length is 100 mm length is 100 mm over travel is 4 mm approach is 6 mm so you know that total length will be l plus approach plus over travel will be 110 mm so you know for forward stroke the speed is different for return stroke speed is different so if you want to find out the time required for one stroke that will be coming out to be l upon velocity of forward plus l upon velocity of return and to find out the total time you just need to multiply it with the number of stroke so i have given you the entire entire hint to solve this problem so i feel everybody would be aware of these formulas just try to solve it mithun kumar good evening dear how are you So just try to solve it, guys. I need answer from all of you. I need answers from all of you. Wonderful, guys. So this is a very, very, very first question. Okay, and this is from metal cutting. So we will be having ten questions from entire production. The PDF of this session will be shared with you along with the solutions. Kiran is saying the answer to be B means three point eight five. Okay, what about others? Good evening, Kiran. How are you? Yes. What about others? Mithun, Shreyas, Himang, waiting for your answers. And guys, do like and share the session so that others can also join it. This is very crucial time. Okay. That is why we are coming up with very good quality questions. So these ten questions will be giving you entire glimpse. Okay. And tonight, ten thirty p.m. i will be revising the formula for theory of machine okay the complete revision of formulas in one hour for tom okay today yes 
वंडरफुल गाइस so first of all when you will be finding out velocity of return stroke then the answer will be coming out to be 26.6 meter per minute then when you will be finding out time required for one stroke it would be coming out to be 9.625 into 10 to the power into 10 to the power minus 3 minutes and total time will be coming out to be 3.85 minutes so yes the answer is correct The answer is correct. Very good, Shreya. बहुत ही बढ़िया. So guys, moving to the next question now. Next question. So next question, guys, is from Milling. Okay. Next question is from Milling. While Milling is lot of twenty five mm wide and fifteen centimeter long in a plate, the following cutting parameters are used: cutting velocity, diameter of end mill, number of flutes, speed, depth of cut. the cutting time for operation is that is a very simple question i feel so yes so you know that first of all velocity is given as pi dn okay velocity is given to us we can find out n from here v by pi d d is the cutter diameter okay once you will be getting the value of n then you know that you need to find out the time so it would be coming out to be ft z n This is what you need to do, okay? Because they have given you very good hemang, they have given you ft, they have given you z, and you need to find out. Very good hemang, very good. Just solve it, guys. Just solve it. The question number two, once again from machining. So, guys, uh, this type of questions are uh, definitely exams are asking, okay? and you know machining part is going to be an important thing for exam that is why i have kept one from milling other from shaper and planer yes 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 guys just solve it hint is there in front of you this is 60 meter per minute yes this is z z is the number of flutes solve it yes kiran shreya kiran is saying answer once again to be b okay kiran what about others what about others i feel kiran please check it again i feel you have made some mistake you have made some mistake so first of all find out the n value okay here velocity is given in meter per minute and when you will be putting the diameter diameter of the cutter then it is in mm so you need to convert it also in that way so just solve it yes 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 tell me this will be mm per flute this is l upon fn na no? mm per flute flute per revolution revolution per minute this is length in mm yes solve it solve it solve it when you will find out when you will find out the below uh, n it would be coming out to be 763 763.94 rpm dear when you will be solving it answer will be coming out to be this is the value of okay this is the value of n 763.94 so when you will be putting it to be 15 cm length is 15 cm na length is 15 cm so 15 cm 
डिवाइडेड बाय एफ टी एफ टी इज एट इन टू फ्लूट पर रिवोल्यूशन वी हैव केप्ट देन इट इज पॉइंट वन दिस इज इन एम एम नाउ एंड इन टू इट इज सेवन सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट नाइन फोर दिस इज इन एम 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 पर फ्लूट सो यू जस्ट नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई विद द टेन टू हैव इट इज ऑल्सो इन एम एम Now, when you will solve it, I feel the answer will be coming out to be what? Okay, Ashish is saying D would be the answer. Dear, when they give it, then you take it. When they do not take it, then you can find out for the you can see the formulas for that. But here it is very simple question. Okay, so yes, Naveen, Shreya, the answer is correct. A is the right answer for this. so for this the answer is going to be 0.27 you are talking about compulsory approach yes 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 so a is the right answer so wherever you you know about which type of operation we need to find out that okay that you have studied i feel for different operation we have different different formula yes for slot milling very good yes okay fine so guys here the answer would be coming out to be 0.27 minutes okay here it is saying while milling a slot of this mm wide and this centimeter long a plate of this the following cutting parameters are used all these datas were given you need to find out the cutting time is it fine yes very good so guys moving further next question is related to the casting ओके मानस आर यू सेइंग आंसर इज डी आर यू सेइंग आंसर इज डी प्लीज टेल मी आई हैव आल्सो कैलकुलेटेड फॉर यू ओके 2.45 आ रहा है देन हाउ अदर स्टूडेंट्स आर गेटिंग 0.245 सर समझ नहीं आया लास्ट क्वेश्चन ओके मोहित गुप्ता हाय रमेश मोहन पॉइंट टू फोर फाइव ही तो आ रहा है ए ही तो है आंसर ओके पॉइंट टू फोर फाइव आ रहा है इट इज पॉइंट टू सेवन मिनट तो पॉइंट टू फोर फाइव है तो पॉइंट टू सेवन को ही तो टिक करोगे ना मानस मोहित एक्चुअली व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन सेइंग वाइल मिलिंग अ स्लॉट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव वाइड फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग प्लेट इज दिस इन ए प्लेट ऑफ दिस ओके दिस इज द प्लेट ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर इंटू थर्टी सेंटीमीटर in this plate you need to make a slot like this okay so when you need to make this slot for that all these things are given to you what i have done first of all velocity is known to us i have found out n when i have found out this n then my dear you know the formula for time period is l upon ft zn okay so what is ft zn for ft zn ft is given to you in mm per fluid 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 will get cancel out revolution revolution get cancel out this will be coming out to be mm per minute so i need to just convert it into mm so that i can get the answer in minute so answer would be coming out to be okay 0.245 minutes is it clear are you getting this ha 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 if you would be putting the compulsory approach then you will be getting 0.265 now you got it Mohit, you are asking about compulsory approach, na? So when you will be putting compulsory approach, then you will get 0.265 only. So for that, I have not written formula because I feel you will add it. So I have given you the normal formula. Definitely, this L will be consisting of what? This will be L plus approach, which is approach that is compulsory approach. So that you, when you will be adding it, you will be getting the answer to be 0.265. Ha! Formula is already given by Hemang. Very good. wonderful guys i feel now you understood moving to the next question is question number 3 question number 3 very good mohit this is from casting now a cast steel slab of dimension 30 cross 20 cross 5 is poured horizontally using a side riser so type of riser is side riser then what he is saying riser is cylindrical in shape with a diameter equal to half of height it is mentioned that d is h by 2 then they are saying that the freezing ratio is 
सो फ्रीजिंग रेशियो इज मोडुलस ऑफ राइजर बटे मोडुलस ऑफ कास्टिंग मोडुलस इज वॉल्यूम बटे सरफेस एरिया तो एक्स इज वॉल्यूम बटे सरफेस एरिया ऑफ राइजर टू द वॉल्यूम बटे सरफेस एरिया ऑफ कास्टिंग दिस इज वॉट यू नीड टू डू गाइस वेरी गुड हे मांग मोहित मानस आई फील एवरीबडी इज गेटिंग नाउ just solve it and guys do like and share the session because we are coming up with such wonderful questions giving time to search out these questions so that we can give you the best in the sessions so at least take like to banta hai because your like will help us to reach to more people and more students will get these quality questions yes 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 mohit hemang manas ramesh mon Ashish, Naveen, solve this and get the answer. This is from casting. This is from casting. Question number three. Next question would be from metal forming. We are covering every topic. Every topic. One question is also there from metrology. One question is also there from non-traditional machining methods. Everything is covered, guys. and everybody know that tomorrow we have material science marathon tomorrow we have material science marathon material science marathon tomorrow we have material science marathon okay ramesh mon you are correct but if examiner is saying something na then you need to take that only when examiner is saying take diameter is half of height then you cannot take your values okay so then whatever examiner say he is supreme okay whatever he says you need to take that those things what we have derived in the classes you will be taking if nothing is mentioned okay if he simply says side riser then you take height is equals to diameter but when he is saying you need to take what he is saying so just put it and get the answer okay yes 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 pi feel you know volume of riser will be pi by 4 d square h and surface area of riser will be 2 into pi by 4 d square plus pi d h Okay, Hemang and Mohit Gupta have given the answer. Seventeen D by one fifty. Seventeen D by one fifty. Okay, what about others? So the answer you have given is this. What about others? What about others? Yes, Naveen, Ramesh Mon. manas tell me tell me tell me tell me guys very good so answer is b answer is b so when you will be solving this when you will be putting all these values you will be getting the answer to be b 17d by 150 is correct answer because you can see the size of the casting is 30 cross 20 cross 5 so when you will be saying modulus of riser but a modulus of casting which is nothing but freezing ratio so you will be having volume but a surface area okay so pi by 4 d square h divided by 2 into pi by 4 d square plus pi d h Divided by thirty cross twenty cross five, thirty cross twenty. You will be getting the answer to be in the terms of D seventeen D by one fifty. Next question is from deep drawing. Very good, guys. Next question is from deep drawing. Deep drawing. Deep drawing. What does the statement is saying? Very good, Ramesh Mon. 
what does the statement is saying statement says a cup of 50 mm diameter and 75 mm deep is to be drawn from a 1.5 mm thick steel sheet so first of all you know the blank diameter is coming out from d square plus 4 dh this will give you the blank diameter he is saying the strength is 300 neglecting the corner radius find the energy that must be applied for the first drawing operation so you know that you will be getting the blank diameter and he is saying that some percentage 40 percent reduction so you know 0 0.4 is equals to after first draw diameter is d1 okay that is d minus d1 upon d1 or d d minus d1 upon d1 or d what we write yes upon d that is 0.4 because if you do into 100 it will be 40 percent so it is coming out to be d1 will be like this once you get d1 you know that we can write d1 is equals to square root of you already know the blank diameter is capital D. You can also write it as D1 square plus 4 D1 H1. This will give you the value of H1. Once you will get D1 H1. Now you need to apply the force. Okay, Mohit Gupta is saying the value of blank diameter 132.287. And I will say uh, the value is 132 or 32. 132 or 32 what you are getting guys is it 132.287 are we getting like that then you can find out the small d1 from here then you can find out the small h1 from here and once you will get this you know the formula for the blanking force it is pi d for first blanking force the formula will be pi dt formula will be pi dt into sigma y this will be the first force and you know energy can be written as f1 into h1 solve it and get the answer solve it and get the answer very good shreya very good hemang solve it and get the answer this is question number four from deep drawing yes 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 this is a good question guys good question hint is there in front of you actually the surface area will remain the same so that is why the blank diameter can also be equated with this the results after first row this is before first row this is after first row this is what you need to make actually this is after the first row okay i feel you got it I feel you got it what I want to say. Final cup dimensions are this. This is the final cup dimensions. And these are after first draw. Obviously, you know that diameter will be continuously reducing, height will be continuously increasing. That is what is going to happen. So, first part you have done it. That's really great. Now, find out this diameter. Anybody have solved this diameter? Anybody have calculated this diameter? Tell me that. If you have calculated this D1, I would like to tell you the value of D1 will be coming out to be 79.373. Please check it. And after that, when you will find out height, you will get 35.275. Now you just need to put the values here and get the energy very good Hemang very good Shreya very good very good yes Mohit are you getting everything bahut badia. Shreya bahut badia. are you getting everything guys yes Manas what would be the answer Manus, what would be the answer? What would be the answer, guys?
yes 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 please tell me sigma y is also given yaar 300 this is given 300 thickness is given d pi d1 because you are talking about the first drawing operation solve it for the first drawing operation shall we keep blank diameter for the second it would be d1 na yes solve it then so you would be having f1 pi d t sigma y then energy or work done is f1 into h1 solve it guys data is there yes manas ramesh mohan hemang shreya mohit navin okay what you are getting as f can you tell me what you are getting as the value of f f is pi into your capital d was 132.28 then thickness was what was the thickness thickness was 1.5 1.5 into 300 first of all tell me what you are getting that value in newton force value you are getting 187 please tell me once again confirm are you getting this pi into 132.28 into 1.5 into 300 after getting this value you will find out this energy okay fine so what is the energy what is the energy in that case okay energy is coming out to be 6.5 joules 6.6 .6 aa raha hai okay have we done calculation correctly have we done calculation correctly because as per my calculation the answer is c as per my calculation the answer is c maybe in that case some data mistake we have done it so cup diameter you have find out carefully small diameter will be 50 and this is going to be 75 into 50 okay so if you have calculated this correct then all other things are correct only okay 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 in that case maybe maybe there is some mistake in the options because all of you are getting 6.5 kilojoules no issues okay i will be sharing you this and i will recheck it if that is the case but according to me the answer coming is 3.5 kilojoules maybe some calculation error i have done because these questions are not taken from books they are made by so options i have kept only so maybe some mistake okay just wait let me check it actually in the first ha huh, in the first drawing operation we will be taking pi d1 t sorry guys actually i just come up from a journey so that is why maybe i am doing the mistakes yes 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 i feel if you remember for the force we are taking the diameter after that what we are getting okay pi d1 t will be coming out to be now you are now you please tell me what you are getting are you getting with that pi what is the d1 d1 you have calculated initially i have written d1 only so do it with d1 and then tell me the answer ha huh. question is good actually as i said i was just taking in the morning your uh, entire subject uh, that was mock test after that i was in journey i just reached 2 minute before 
so that's that's maybe the reason <laughs> because otherwise i do not do that kind of mistakes in the formula you have seen every every time yes now tell me the answer guys actually here it should be d1 small d1 ha 3.95 is coming with that so that would be correct whatever you are getting from this that would be the right answer okay no issues okay guys so no issues ha huh, that 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 is fine that is fine then then as i said maybe some error in the option so no issues no worries let us move to the next question that is from extrusion i will correct the option don't worry because those options are kept by me only i have i have just calculated and make the options if you will be doing this mistake you will get that answer doing this mistake you will get that answer so maybe some mistake from me may be there in calculations no issues solve this question now a mild steel bullet is to be extruded from initial diameter of 250 mm length of 400 mm and final diameter is 50 mm at a temperature of 900 it means it is a case of hot extrusion you know that extrusion constant is given as 300 mpa velocity is given to you you need to find out the energy required in kilowatts or megawatts megawatts means they are asking you the power yes they are asking you the power so you know the formula for sigma is k ln r here r is the extrusion ratio r is original area but a final area okay so when you will be finding out this sigma value then you know how to find out the force force is coming out to be sigma into original area in the extrusion we have original area in wire drawing we have the final area in the morning session when we were doing the mock test we were having the similar question from wire drawing there we have multiplied with the final area okay that is the mistake generally students do for wire drawing final area for extrusion original or initial area after getting this force you know that power is given as force into velocity you will be getting the answer in megawatts okay this is correct only okay one to two times some mistakes happens every time it doesn't okay ha huh, that is correct ramesh mon but c was not given actually okay that is correct what you are saying is but actually c was not given so we are using the ideal formula actually there are two things one is ideal other is actual so when that friction effects are not mentioned then we will take that formula nora fatehi kafi dino baad answer is 9.48 yes Nora Fatehi is saying answer to be nine point four eight. What about others? And I would like to tell you, yes, Nora Fatehi always give the right answer. So answer is correct. Very good. What about others? Yes, nine point four eight megawatt. Yes, Mohit. So don't worry, Mohit. I will be sharing the PDF with you. and i will share the right solution of that question with the right options don't worry sometime it happens i am also human being like you so very good 9.48 is correct wonderful guys so when you will be solving this you will be getting the extrusion for as per my calculation extrusion force is coming out to be 47.4 uh, mega newton then you will be getting this to be 9.48 megawatt answer will be b for it okay Yes, no issues, no issues. Okay, guys, moving to the question number six. This is from, this is from metrology. This is from metrology. Surface roughness. This is from metrology. That is surface roughness. If you remember, they are saying the surface roughness profile of a surface is approximated as y is equals to a plus b sine x. You know sine x. is varying from minus 1 to plus 1 so you can find out the maximum height a plus b minimum height a minus b and if you want to find out peak to valley peak to valley which is nothing but h max that will be y max minus y min y max minus y min you will get it and you know that center line average 
h max by 4 this will give you the value of b solve this question hint is there in front of you this is a new type of question maybe for you definitely so solve it and get the answer Ramesh Mohan is saying the answer to be C. What about others? What about others? This is question number 6. Mohit Gupta is also saying B. Hemang is also saying B. So guys, when you will be solving this, it will be coming out to be 2B. And at maximum, you are given central line average to be 5. So you will be having this 5. So h maximum is 2b. 2b by 4 is equal to 5. b is 10 microns. C is the right answer. Wonderful guys. Moving to the question number 7. Which is from once again. Computer integrated manufacturing. I, as I said all the topics are covered. This time they are asking you about basic length unit. Very good manas. This time they are asking you about basic length unit. You can see step of the motor is given as. One step is equivalent to 1.5 degree. So my dear if you need to find out the number of steps. In one revolution. You know it is nothing but 360 degree by 1.5 degree. Now you know that one pulse is equivalent to one step. And basic length unit will be. You know that for that pitch divided by steps per revolution into gear ratio. Okay. That is what you need to do. Try to solve it. Try to solve it. Let us see how many of you give the right answer. Gear ratio is not mentioned. So pitch divided by NS will be the answer. Pitch is given as 3 mm. So you just need to see what is the number of pulses in one revolution. Okay, I feel all of you are giving the answer to be 12.5 microns. Yes, that is correct one. So answer will be coming out to be this is 3 mm. NS will be coming out to be 240 I feel as per my calculation it is 240. So you will be getting the answer to be this is mm. Okay this is 240. That is pulses per revolution. Or steps per revolution. So answer will be 12.5 microns. You know basic length unit is the distance travelled by the table tool. With one pulse. Okay, very good. So, answer is D. Moving to question number 8, which is related to ECM. That is non-traditional machining method. It is a good question. In a certain ECM operation, the frontal working area of electrode is this one. The applied current and voltage is this one. The material being machined is nickel valency 2, whose specific material rate is this one. So you can see mm cube per ampere second is given to you. The efficiency of the process is 90%. Resistivity of the electrolyte is 140 ohm mm. With an over voltage of 1.5 volt, the MRR in mm cube per minute and the working gap respectively. Try to solve it guys. I will give you the hint for that. But first solve it. Okay. We will see step by step how to solve it. Yes, you need to find out two things. First of all, you are required MRR. And you are required MRR in mm cube per minute. So you can see, C is given to you. First of all, it is efficiency into current into C. So current is in ampere. C is in mm cube per ampere second. So this will give you the answer to be in mm cube per second. So you can get the answer to be in mm cube per minute by dividing it by 60. So you will get first answer from here. First solve this then I will tell you what next to be done. You know resistance is given as rho L upon A. 
first tell me this value then we will move further yes mohit manas okay tell me what is mrr so over voltage is given to you so v minus delta v divided by i is rho l upon a you know that a is area l is the electrode gap you will be getting l from here there is no need of any other thing there is no need of any other thing okay so you just need to find out the length electrode gap is l here na okay mohit there is no need of that data hewang is saying 3324.24 so 3324.24 mm cube per minute is correct 3324.24 that is correct in mm cube per minute very good very good so you need to find out now the length so delta v is given over voltage is 1.5 volt voltage is 12 volt okay so 12 minus 1.5 divided by 1800 is equals to resistivity into length but a area you will get the value of length solve it and get the answer solve it and get the answer guys this is question number 8 we are having two more questions to go i feel mohit you got it so there is no requirement of the data you are asking solve it guys solve it next question is from welding and last question would be from would be from casting again ramesh moni saying the answer to be a what about others bhomik kafi dino ke baad aayo bhomik i would like to inform you tomorrow material science marathon is there in the morning 10 am tomorrow material science marathon 10 am okay in 3 hours we will complete that Hemang is saying the answer to be A. Mohit Gupta is saying A. Bhomik is saying A. Everybody is saying A. So I will also say A is correct. Wonderful guys. Manas बहुत ही बढ़िया. Moving to question number nine then. The volume of a weld nugget produced by the spot welding process is 80 mm cube. So volume of weld nugget is 80 mm cube. This is given to us. Welding is performed using a current of ten thousand amperes. The energy required for melting a unit volume of metal is okay. So unit is given ten joule per mm cube. Assume that heat lost to the surrounding. First of all, total energy required is U into what? Into this is volume. This is volume. you will get this is the total energy required energy required okay then it is given that heat loss is 500 joule so heat supply is heat required plus heat loss you need to find out the thermal efficiency heat required but a heat supply very easy question one mark question it is what would be the answer guys what would be the answer for this one very easy question next will be msq from casting next will be msq from casting ramesh moni saying the answer to be c yes manas hemang homik ramesh mon tell me the answer guys everyone tell me the answer tell me the answer okay imran is saying the answer to be c so the answer is c yes c is correct 61.53 you know heat required would be coming out to be what it is coming out to be 10 into 80 is 800 this is 1300 so just take the ratio of 80 for 800 by 1300 the answer would be 61.53 next question guys from the shape factor this is a wonderful question a new type of question okay i have given you from casting related to the 
इलिप्टिकल ज्योमेट्री वेरी गुड मोहित बहुत बढ़िया भौमिक डायमेंशन ऑफ एन इलिप्टिकल साइड राइजर हैविंग मेजर एक्सिस इक्वल टू इट्स हाइट एंड डबल ऑफ माइनर एक्सिस तो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन इलिप्स सो दे आर सेइंग द मेजर एक्सिस लेटर से इट इज एक्स और लेटर से इट इज ए मेजर एक्सिस इज ए एंड दे आर सेइंग दैट मेजर एक्सिस इक्वल्स टू द हाइट height is also a minor axis is b that is a by 2 so you know that volume of ellipse pi a b h that is the volume what is surface area what is surface area इलिप्टिकल के एरिया में बहुत प्रॉब्लम होती है सर कोई बात नहीं मोहित इसीलिए क्वेश्चन लिया है मैंने दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई आई हैव टेकन दिस क्वेश्चन सो वी विल सोल्व इट बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू व्हाट इज द वे टू सोल्व फॉर शेप फैक्टर मेथड सो यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस इज शेप फैक्टर एंड दिस इज वी आर बाई गिवन दिस इज द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ केन्स मैथड यू नो दैट बिकॉज केन्स हैव टेकन ऑन वाई एक्सिस द वॉल्यूम रेशो ओके वॉल्यूम रेशो On x axis the freezing ratio, then uh, th then this method is replacing freezing ratio by shape factor, and you know shape factor when you will be calculating this is a casting with size forty cross twenty cross five. It is a plate, so shape factor will be forty plus twenty divided by five. This you will be getting the shape factor. So you will be getting shape factor as twelve. So based on that you will get the ratio as point six eight. so volume of riser to the volume of casting will be coming out to be 0.68 from here you can find out the volume of riser okay and the formula for volume of riser is this because elliptical riser we are using okay is it clear for everyone is it clear for everyone okay now i will be telling you the surface area also surface area is 2 pi ab square root of a square square root of a square plus b square divided by 2 into h this is the surface area of elliptical riser and volume is pi ab h so now you just need to use it all the data are there in front of you use it and get the answer very good guys so you already know the volume is volume is 0.68 time volume of casting when you will be equating with this volume of riser to be 0.68 times volume of casting you know that h is equals to a b is equals to a by 2 from here you will be getting the value of a put the value of a here then you need to find out the solidification time which is k into volume by surface area ka square so that is how you will be getting the final answer this is the hint for this problem which is a wonderful one new type of question i feel everybody understood what you need to do all the data are given to us just solve it guys solve it guys solve it guys okay one by one let us do first of all tell me what you are getting the volume of riser as what you are getting the volume of riser as With this data, what you are getting the volume of riser as? Okay, Ramesh Mohan have already mentioned it. So when you will be finding out this volume of riser, it is coming out to be two seven seven zero centimeters cube. From that, you will be getting the h value to be twelve centimeters. That is fine. So when you get twelve centimeter, the height of riser A option is correct. Then you need to find out the surface area. This is the formula. when you will solve this surface area will be coming out to be 1167 okay this is plus okay 1167 i am writing it again guys the formula the formula for that is 2 pi ab plus a square plus b square upon 2 
2 pi h okay so this is the formula and when you will be calculating this it would be coming out to be 1167.67 centimeter square getting this surface area put the values here you will get the solidification time Yes, Mohit, you got this. Up to this, you got it. Height, you got it. Please tell me that. Once you got the height, then you need to find out the surface area of riser. There are two options. We got this C1. Then you need to find out the solidification time. This is the formula. And for that, we need the solidification constant. And I feel solidification constant is given to us. Very good, very good Rami Simon, Bohat Badia. This is the last question guys of this session. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Ha, A and B are major and minor axis. Yes, 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 yes. Actually, not major and minor Mohit, they are semi-major and semi-minor axis, okay? If you are talking about this, this is A, this is B, semi-major and semi-minor. Major and minor axis are 2A and 2B, okay? Major and minor axis are 2A and 2B. A is semi-major and semi-minor. I feel I answered you Mohit. I feel I answered you Mohit. So, when you will find out the solidification time, it would be coming out to be 8.13, 8.13 minutes. So, obviously D is not the correct answer, correct answer is A and C. So, guys please tell me how you find this session, is it useful or not? Because Similarly, I will be coming with the 10 question tomorrow for theory of machines. Actually, every day we are having one subject session. And uh, I would also like to inform you one more thing that uh, formula revision series is also going on. Thanks, Semang. We need uh, Som, Tom, MD to confirm hai. Rest depends. Okay, like last year also production came because of the request of student. So, when student requests, we have to come for everything. Okay, fine. So, guys, today means tonight at 10.30 p.m. Tonight at 10.30 p.m. We would be meeting for theory of machines formula revision session. We are just in one hour. We will be revising all the formulas of Tom. This time only, only and only formula will be there. Okay, means like marathon we have studied everything in detail. That would not be there in formula series. Formula series will be one hour entire formula. It is like you revise everything before your test. Like short notes. Fine Satyam. So I feel uh, with this I am completing this session. Do like the session, do share it with your friends and I will be sharing this PDF right now and that question with the correct solution I will be uh, sending you tonight, okay. And tomorrow 10 a.m. material science marathon. Goodbye guys, thanks. Sir, kitne MSQ aane ke chance? Dear, we cannot say that exactly but what I feel is it should be somewhere around 10, not more than 10. Uh, it would be maximum I feel up to 10 only okay because already NATs are there MCQs are there so 10 is the number as per me it should not cross that rest no one can say anything about gate peoples okay so goodbye for this session we are meeting 10 30 p.m. tonight and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning goodbye for this session thanks for joining guys goodbye